Hi all, this is Arun. Uh, in this video, we will have a look, quick look at online compilers. So what is online compiler? Why we should go for an online compiler? Let's assume if you are learning any language, Python, C++, Java, for, uh, for that, generally you will be using uh, any of the compilers integrated with the IDEs like Turbo C or ID1 or Eclipse or PyScript or PyCharm, any of the IDEs. So that's the normal way which you will be using it. But when you come to the placements or the final year, all the recruitment happens through online, where you will have an online IDE and then you should start working at it. So first I'll show the normal IDEs if you are not familiar with it. For example, uh, where is it? Here this is one IDE. So minimize this. So this is, uh, this, is, this is called integrated development. Right? This is for uh, uh, C++. Okay. Let's assume if you are working familiar with it. If you put a word, it will come up with the uh, IntelliSense help where you don't need to do anything. All you just type it, it will come up with stuff. Okay. stdio.h S T D I O dot H like that it will come so everything is filled for you so if you are used to that so when you go to the online uh, compiler most of the cases you will not have such intelligence intelligence help okay so for that reason you should be uh, familiar with the online compilers so that is the reason why you should first go with it Second, let's assume if you are a C, C programmer, C++ programmer, in college life you will be from used to the Turbo C thing, okay? But uh, when you go to the online compiler, mostly they use GCC at the back end. So there will be a lot of differences. For example, Konya data is not at all present in the GCC. There you will get a lot of compilation error. So at the time you should not get tensed because of that stupid error, okay? So how to avoid it is the one which we are trying to do it. So here, uh, let's assume, let's go here. So ID1 is one of the online compiler. This is not the only online compiler. A lot of online compilers are there. Uh, Ripple, Ripple, I forgot the name. So, uh, so this is another online compiler. So here what you can do is you can go there and then start working with the languages. Python, let's say I'm just picking Python here. So it comes with an ID like this, where I can write the code in the left hand side and compile it in the right hand side. Okay. Uh, same way, there is another ID called uh, online compiler called ID1. My preferred uh, compiler is ID1. So I'm not restricting you to fix yourself for ID1. You can use any of the online compiler, but most of the online um, online test uses ID1 at the back end. So please go with it. So first step, what you should do is like select the language of your choice. So if you come to the left hand side bottom, uh, you will have the choose language. So if you choose the language, it will automatically change it. So now I switched from uh, uh, C++ to Python. So let's do a print. Print and then let's do hello. Okay. And uh, if I compile here, so it will compile and then show me the output over here. So so it is successfully compiled and I have the output over here, hello. Okay, this is one thing which you should find there. Second thing is where I should give the input. That is the second thing. So what I am going to do is I go, I am going to go back here. Okay, let's switch to some other language for another demo. Let's say C++. Okay. Come on, load it. I clicked it, it happens. Okay, so ignore all those things. The, ah, okay. So now we got it. So in A, I am declaring a variable, let's say, and then C in, C in, A, C out, A. I'm just printing it. Okay. So if you come down here, there is a next to the language, you have something called STD in. That's called standard input place, where we'll put like again a hello, Google. Let's do it and let's run it. Okay, let's see what happens. Okay, so we got hello GUI here. So STD in is there. Uh, I have given hello GUI, but STD out is empty. So let's check out what is the problem here. C in C out, that is a int, but I have given a string. So this is how you fix it. Let's go and change the value to a 10. Okay, so ideally I should have given a character array. 
as an input. So in this case, if I run it, it's running and see I've got the output as 10. Okay, so this is how it works on. So you should get familiar with these kind of stupid errors which I made right now. So you should not get stumbled when you're writing the uh, recruitment exam or the test. Okay, so make yourself familiar with all the online compilers, whichever is your preferred choice gets started with, but my choice is ID1. Okay, do well. Thank you. Bye-bye.